Uh, my name is uh, Mike Kui. I'm uh, head of uh, biz staff and uh, corporate staff of Happy Albums. And uh, I want to thank the community to uh, invite us over to share our experience and more <coughs> our lessons that we learned during the past three years operating games globally. Uh, so the, the, the title we'll be talking about is The Secrets of uh, Keeping a uh, Long Life Cycle of uh, Social Games. Uh, I'll just briefly introduce what, uh, who Happy Albums is. And uh, <clears throat> we are a uh, company that moves really fast because uh, we moved uh, five times to five different uh, offices during the past three years. And uh, although we did manage to grow from uh, four people to 400 people uh, for uh, three years. So we're now number uh, the lar largest non-English developer on Facebook and uh, the largest on uh, Chinese-speaking Asia. And we're also second largest uh, on Mixi, the, 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 the biggest uh, PC-based social networking in Japan. Okay, well, the company established uh, in March 2009. There's only one uh, person in the picture. This is the first picture of the company because the other one is taking the photo. And um, now we have four games running on 18 platforms in 12 different languages uh, and four mobile games as well. Well, the key of uh, this uh, speech is uh, my fishbowl. The game has been operating more than three years, and uh, still it got almost two million direct views on, on Facebook. <clears throat> this is where we are on Facebook in terms of uh, total direct users. We're number ten, and uh, thanks to Zynga acquiring Omega Pop, we got pop up a little bit, so we're number nine or eight, uh, depending on how our peers do. Uh, we're a bit of uh, uh, outside the radar because uh, we are not present in this uh, English market. Um, our major users are coming from the Asian. Um, we're, we're backed by DCM and the Legend Capital for 35 million US dollars last year. Uh, both uh, great VCs, I gotta say. So those are our titles. Uh, our first game is uh, My Fishbowl, and uh, second game is called Lounge Bar which uh, came up to the, one of the most popular games on Mixi after four weeks it was launched. And our third game is My Kingdom. Uh, it's uh, the widely distributed game. It's, uh, <coughs> it's, uh, it's now running on 18 platforms and uh, in 12 languages. This is the, the wildest uh, distributed game of Happy Albums. And uh, the mobile games we're having uh, are um, uh, Eternal Chronicle, My Bar. Those are developed by our Japanese team in Kyoto. We have 30 people in Kyoto now, and uh, they, are, they are developing feature phone games. And our first in-house iOS game is uh, Happy Fish. That's been released earlier this year. Uh, this is our uh, fish game on mobile. And uh, it's been doing uh, pretty good in Asia, basically uh, mainland China, Taiwan, Korea, and uh, Middle East, let's say uh, Saudi, UAE, and uh, Kuwait. So you guys can see those uh, charts with uh, characters that you can barely recognize. First one is uh, Arabic, and then is Korean, and uh, Chinese as well. So <clears throat> we are a uh, big fan of uh, running games or uh, operating games in um, multiple areas. Uh, and uh, we will love to rent games in their local languages as well. So we believe that people prefer to play games in their local languages. Uh, well, uh, you know, <coughs> uh, no, no matter how, how good they, they read or write English, so they still want their, um, their, 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 their games to be there in their own languages. So our strategy became that to map around the world except the English-speaking countries. Um, the reason why is we, don't, we, don't, we really don't want to go heads up with uh, big guys like Zynga or EA. Um, well, after we've uh, talked with them, we, we, we think it's not uh, reasonable or it's not making that much sense for us to go heads up with them. Uh, because uh, some of our uh, peers did, you know, right after the success in Taiwan, 
uh, uh, some of the developers go uh, decided to go on to the English market. But uh, well, after a, uh, a deep thought, we decided to go Japan because uh, we, we believe the Japanese market is the, it's a uh, very hard to penetrate. But once you do, you got thresholds. So, well, that's what we did. Mm. About my fishbowl. Uh, my fishbowl was launched in on uh, Facebook, August two thousand nine. Actually, it was launched firstly on uh, Rinrin dot com, which is a local platform in China, in um, May of two thousand nine. So it's been three years, literally. And uh, <clears throat> we we kind of took the advantage of uh, Facebook booming up in Taiwan. Uh, Facebook's penetration was twelve times bigger. Than what it was in two thousand, uh, twelve times bigger in two thousand nine than what it was in two thousand eight, and we believe we can uh, help with that wave as well. And uh, well, you're welcome, you're welcome, Alexander. So, uh, so this is like <clears throat> Fishbowl Games is the first uh, fish racing type of game on Facebook before Happy Aquarium and before Fishbowl. And uh, well, I believe this is the one who goes long time the the, the best. We attract 2.4 million DAUs in two months, with uh, well basically zero promotion. Back at the time, the viral channel was crazy. The K factor was uh, five to ten. I mean, the K factor uh, is uh, like the how many users you can bring. Uh, by uh, a certain users, and now it's like 0.5 or 0.3, but back the whole time it was like five or ten. So, uh, well, we we missed that time, but the the vanish of their channel also uh, made our user base being a threshold to the newcomers. Um, although, if you uh, give you guys an example, it's uh, uh, Taiwan has said. Uh, 23, 24 millions of uh, people, and uh, Facebook penetration is uh, 50%. So two, uh, one out of two people are, uh, of Taiwanese are uh, on Facebook, and uh, our games installation in Taiwan is uh, 9 or 10 million. So literally everybody on uh, Facebook in Taiwan played our games, and one out of 10 people in Taiwan play my fishbowl, in a daily basis, so we're we, we don't only take ourselves as the uh, big gaming uh, this Chinese speaking world, but also like a large media as well. Yeah, this is a curve of three different games. The green line is happy uh, as my fishbowl. The blue one is uh, Happy Aquarium, and the uh, uh, the, the yellow one is uh, Zynga's Fishville. So uh, you guys can see that uh, we, we survived two very brilliant competitor in this uh, virtual fish racing competition. And uh, we're proud of it. All right. So the game has uh, uh, 1.7 million DAUs with 3.5 million MAUs. As you can see, the DE versus the MEU is really high, it's almost 50%, which is um, not reachable in the English market anymore. Usually, if uh, the, the number is 20%, you call it a great game. But uh, we, I, th I think this is what we, we were strong at, to keep a game really engaging, because uh, our team's background is more, uh, it's more social than gaming. Most of our team come from social now, uh, social network like Rune.com on MySpace, and uh, so we we like what Alexander was saying. We really uh, keep this viral thing when we develop the game itself. Uh, this is the curve of uh, uh, the DUU of my fishbowl, and so uh, we we we're just trying to keep it up by. Uh, constant updating the game. We are big believers of uh, uh, operating really make the success of the game. We know there are um, tons of metaphors out there uh, of uh, you know developing social games, uh, operating social games, and people say they're like um, 
movies or but uh, operas is like we, we would take it as uh, uh, putting up uh, soap operas because you got to put up like new episode every Friday because the fans are really expecting it. And uh, that's like the only reason that keeps them in and keeps the following uh, your 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 game. So uh, uh, and we know there are theories out there, like uh, uh, like uh, Digital Chocolate is a big fan of uh, uh, traditional games. You know, uh, develop the game and ship it. That's it. Move on to the next uh, next uh, uh, project. And we will probably say Ian said he's. Uh, uh, updating contents only after the game's released. But what we do is we actually change the game's mechanic right after uh, it was released. We believe like the success uh, of a game, the, 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 the initial launch version of the game only contribute 30% of the success of the game. And 70% of the, game, uh, the success are coming from the ongoing operating so, well, this is the revenue of uh, the revenue curve for uh, my fishbowl. We're not um, talking about the figures, but you can, you guys can see uh, the 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 revenue peaks itself like constantly. This is the curve from um, September the 2009s to uh, the end of the last year, and we still see the revenue growth not never drop down. All right. Uh, well, this is the. Uh, or a secret of uh, keeping a long life uh, circle of the, the game. That's a uh, sequence of uh, how we develop a game. Uh, we will pick up genres, well, which is themes. When, when we have new ideas, we ask the producer questions like, what's our target? What's demographic you, wanna, you, you, you want your user to be? And uh, what's, what's the, the, the gameplay? And then, if it passes, we, we're going through the development uh, period. And uh, then we give the, the, uh, the game a 30-day trial. We focus, on second, uh, we focus on retention and the rates of uh, users who finish up the, the t t tutorial in the first 30 days. And then, the first three months, we start to look at our pool, the monetization level, and how deep the game could go. Um, and the virality channels as well in the first th 30 days. So if the game passes all the five uh, levels and we go to this deep play operation um, period, you really put like average of uh, 20 people in a team operate a mature game. And uh, uh, well, we did cut a lot of games. I think we had, we, we cut like four or five games up to now. Um, based on different uh, reasons, but uh, uh, well, that, that's the call you have to make, I guess. This is our uh, theory of a funnel theory. We really believe in uh, developing massive games with a larger audience base. Um, so we believe that we drive, we, we target as many users as, as we could, so the, and then to drive them into the, uh, the, the funnel and to try to sustain the maximum number of users. All right, and we really want to combine those two together, like choosing a general genre that focusing on massive audience and operating the game to, uh, well, to lure the people who play constantly. All right. Yeah. So that's our uh, a secret of uh, uh, choosing games. Well, innovative ideas and uh, just keep operating it. Well, this is uh, the gameplay of my fishbowl. Well, usually the game, uh, the the fish games are basically like buying fish, feed the fish, and selling the fish. And we think that's uh, that that's way not enough uh, to sustain the users or to monetize them. So we 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 go another way. We 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 made the game that you can buy the fish, you you feed the fish, 
and the fish actually lay down treasures. You collect treasures, you exchange it with, uh, uh, well, functional tools or new fishes or rare fishes. This is very, uh, this, the exchanging system is the core of the game because uh, it makes people to cl uh, ha have the incentive to collect uh, to collect more treasures, like different type of treasures, because each fish lays down certain treasures. You, if you want to collect all type of uh, treasures to, ex to to fill up the exchange system, you gotta either buy different type of fish, or you have friends with different type of fish. So, uh, well, that, that that's what we do, and we also add up small games, like mini games within the game, like slot machine or bajord with uh, the, la the, the, the the treasures, which uh, really uh, makes game like a all rounded uh, a, a, a all rounded game rather than just a fish racing game. So. Uh, well, that's our strategy, like three biggest strategy of uh, uh, operating games. Uh, one is regular updating cycle. We uh, uh, we update like three uh, three times a week. That's our regular updating cycle, and uh, uh, we don't want to push everything out in the time. We really want to do like. Uh, you know, a little bit at a time, and uh, to wait for their feedbacks, and uh, to uh, to see how the users really respect, uh, really react to 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 to, what's, uh, to the updates, and focusing on that on data. It's, so um, we we all know the uh, there's like different. Uh, uh, priority tasks of the game. Sometimes we're we asking the game to keep the DAU. Sometimes we ask them to monetize them. But for our games, the major task for well, at least my fishbowl is to maintain the the, the DAUs because we are a big fan of uh, uh, of having this long life, massive audience game because. Uh, we 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 we're not in a hurry to monetize them right away, because we think in the long run you got multiple ways to monetize users as long you, as you're capable of keeping them. You know, with two million daily active users, you can do anything you could. You can like drive them to. Uh, you can cross promote to your 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 following games. You can publish games, other other companies' games, and uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, you know monetize them with uh, driving the traffic to web games, or well, you can just tra sell the traffic to advertisement agents. So there are uh, well, basically unlimited ways to monetize your traffic as long as you have it. So we really emphasize this. Uh, uh, this this is long term traffic, and uh, well, you guys can see the the the, the fish is actually uh, uh, linsanity fish that we have uh, after uh, 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 Jaffeline was uh, was becoming uh, really hot in NBA, and uh, the guys are Taiwanese, so Taiwanese really dig it. The, uh, I think that the fish sell like. Uh, uh, Hundreds of uh, thousands uh, in total, and uh, the uh, stay close with uh, with the users. Uh, that that that's kind of the goal of uh, our uh, one of our producers of my fishbowl. She's like operates the game the longest. She did the game for two years, and uh, she picked up the role as the producer of uh, Happy Fish when. She was a fresh graduate, and she was 22. She knows nothing about games, but she has great feelings of how to operate games. So, well, the, the, the great feeling comes from, she goes through the forum every day and read each piece of the feedback of the users. So, well, somebody else is looking at the data for her, but she, her, herself is really digging to the feedbacks of users and some of our uh, uh, some of our uh, sorry this is this is like the regular updating cycle of, uh, of the games uh, well this is a uh, 
this is our update in a certain man in a certain month. We have uh, two new fish come up. Well, two times of uh, new declarations, and some activities in the forum and one event. The event is uh, our Chinese Valentine, and we optimize the game twice, and we have a new mechanism of the game launched within the month. So basically, three times a week we update the game. All right, this is the the, the data of uh, Happy Fish. And uh, uh, that, that's what we do on, um, on Chinese New Year. And this is the Christmas event. Yearly, the vacations are uh, like Chinese New Year or Christmas are the horrible time for game developers. And game developers like hurricanes, like earthquakes. When this earthquake comes, the revenue goes crazy up because people are just stuck at home and playing games. But uh, yes, we do. And uh, uh, so the, 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 vacation, the vacation period is really a, a, a very tough time for us because people are getting away either on a trip or like hanging out with their friends. They're like, least likely to log on the game and play your game for like five minutes per day. So, well, after seven days, the, game, the, the players away from your game, they probably not have enough incentive to come back again because they're just getting used to be, like, they're, they're fine without your game. So what we do really is try to keep the users, try to hold them, especially when the uh, vacation comes. And this is an event that we did uh, last Christmas. It's, uh, it's the reindeer Santa Claus type of thing. This is a reindeer fish. It's actually a fish, it's uh, not a reindeer. So every, everything in our uh, tank is a fish. And um, we got like panda fish, like this is a reindeer fish. And this is, uh, uh, oh, that one is a uh, oh, music box fish. All right, so it looks weird, but it sells. So uh, the, 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 the whole mechanism is like, you, ha you have a bell in your tank. You, you can't ring by yourself. You have to ask your friends to ring for you to call the reindeer uh, fish. So four reindeer fish join a group. They, they they, they can direct the Santa Claus to your tank, and uh, Santa Claus will leave secret gifts. Well, the mechanism decide that not just you will log in the, 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 the game each day, you have the incentive to ask your friends to log in the game each day to ring your bell. So that, that's really like the social mechanism we're trying to add within the game. Uh, well, especially it's, uh, it's uh, in this uh, vacation period. Yeah, so those are all the ideas come from our forum. The first one is super power uh, uh, fish food. So while well, the old time, it's like uh, you have to uh, click like thousands of times to feed all your fish if you have a lot of fish. And the fans say, why don't you like create a super power fish and so if you click once, no matter how, how many fish you have, they're, they're, they're all fed. I always say, okay, we just have the super power fish. It sells really good. And then people are saying, uh, you know, why don't you guys offer some collectible fish? And we say, all right. We, we, we offer some collectible fish. It's, um, uh, it's limited uh, versions. And uh, the top player is really digging it. And it's a multiple tank. The, well, you know, s some of the users are really want you know put um, pink fish together, or really want to raise a separate tank of panda fish. So we offer them separate tanks, and this really increase our uh, our, our revenues. Because just imagine that when you have one tank, now you have like unlimited tank. So all those ideas are coming from the the. Uh, the forum, and uh, 
uh, we, we have a very internationalized team. We have like diff uh, 16 different nationalities. We, we localize the game into 12 uh, languages. And we, just not, we don't just uh, localize the game uh, according to local languages. We will localize the game uh, according to local cultures. We have uh, special events going on throughout the year, like well, January is either uh, Chinese New Year or February. There's we got uh, Carnival in Brazil, and April it's a Sakura Festival in, in Japan, and um, uh, say August is the Moon Festival in Arabic countries, and August there's like uh, Beer Festival in Germany, and then like Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and then uh, another year round. So uh, we we. We, we really care about the fans, and that's, I, I think that's most the Chinese company do. Um, we, we know there are VIP systems in most, for, for most of the companies, but uh, I know one of the Chinese companies, which is the, the client-based web game, uh, MMORPG companies, they, uh, they, they offer their VIPs which, who, who spend like, uh, five million RMB within the game. They offer a separate person to play with them invisibly, uh, uh, invisibly. And uh, uh, once the guys uh, not manage to kill the boss, and the invisible guy just just kill them for him. So they basically hire a separate person to play with him or her, and that's what we call the fast care. But uh, all right, so uh, I know I'm running out of time, and uh, uh, you guys are more than welcome to ask any questions. Thank you. Um, the first one is, uh, how much do you pay the wizards that do the earthquakes for you? Um, and, and the second part is, um, uh, do you have any uh, long-term re-engagement strategies beyond incentivizing people to log in daily over the holidays? So, for instance, if they've left and seven days later, do you have any strategies around that? All right. Uh, I think I got the second question. What's the first question again? Uh, how much do you pay the earthquake wizards? Oh, okay. Uh, we. <laughs> how much did we gain or did we pay? Okay. Well, <laughs> we actually we actually have a uh, a charity that we're behind in, in Japan. When the when the the earthquake ca came, we. Uh, Encourage the users to uh, donate for the, um, the 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 earthquake. But you know, surprisingly, when 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 this f happened the first time, we don't really have the experience. You know, asking people to donate through our games because we're not taking any, uh, we're not actually making extra money with the, the donations. We're, we're just one hundred percent transfer to the charities. But uh, some of the Japanese people are just saying, "Are are you?" Guys, uh, you, you know, advertising yourself or PR or making any PR with this tragedy, or so it's it's like a controversial issue within the 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 the, the company. But uh, we we believe it's the right thing to do, so we just go ahead do it. And uh, I'll say if there's next time, hopefully not, but we'll just keep doing it. And uh, I, I think it's uh, it's like a responsibility for 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 the company. I don't collect the the uh, the accurate number, but I think it's uh, half a million or uh, U.S. dollar or so from the earthquake. Yeah. And, and the uh, second question, um, we we believe the the the, the largest uh, the the biggest incentive that people are coming back to your game is probably not the. Uh, uh, some special gift that you give to them, but the the call of their friends. So we really uh, bet on like friends calling back for friend thing. That's our major program of recalling old old users, uh, rather than like shooting them spam emails or saying we have the special gift. You have been logging in fishbowl for. 30 days, we have this special gift for you, try it, try it back. We, we really wanted their friends to email them, say, 
do you want to ring the bell for me or do you want to send me a free gift so I can collect enough treasure to exchange this stuff? Then they come back in a favor of their friends and uh, they keep playing it. Okay. Thank you, guys.